Gopher snakes actually might look pretty familiar to you wherever you are in North America. This is a genus of snakes called Pituophis. Gopher snakes are on the west coast of the United States, but if you live in the Midwest, you might know them as bull snakes, which is a similar species to our gopher snakes here in California. This is a big, beautiful male, and his name is Sunflower. He is a great, harmless, non-venomous snake, and he's wonderful for our school programs. Gopher snakes around here are often confused as being rattlesnakes. As you can see, their pattern is somewhat similar to a northern pacific rattlesnake which is the species that we have here and when they feel threatened they can flatten their head and buzz their tail but unfortunately for gopher snakes here sometimes that means that people will mistake them as a rattlesnake and try to harm them the individual that i have here is groundzilla and he's the oldest snake that we have at our facility. He is 34 years old. He used to be an ambassador animal for another wildlife facility until they gave him to us for us to use him. But because he is old, sometimes he gets a little bit tired, so we don't always bring him everywhere. His eyes have cataracts. They're kind of cloudy and blue. They look like how snakes normally look when they're going to shed. These are called gopher snakes because they are found often in gopher burrows. A lot of reptiles and amphibians can be found in holes and burrows and dens that other critters have dug, mostly mammals, so that they don't have to actually dig it themselves. Gopher snakes and other members of the genus Pituophis have an excellent form of camouflage. They blend into deserts, rocky areas, but also if you notice, they actually have keeled scales, very similar to how a rattlesnake has keeled scales. And so they have little ridges on the tops of those scales there. These are good snakes to have. They absolutely will love to eat your neighborhood rats. Definitely give them some thanks. These snakes actually originally come from uh, southern China and northern Vietnam. They're a really unique species of snake, obviously for their interesting little nose that they got there. They have this elongated proboscis, which is basically their nose. Um, and it's just, it actually helps them blend into their surroundings. You can see this bright green snake. They come from these rainforest ecosystems that are actually really interesting called karst ecosystems, which are limestone. They eat a variety of different food sources from fish to rodents. Really an amazing animal. This is Indy, our California king snake. I would say one of the most iconic snakes that we have here in the state. Not really any other snakes in our state that look anything like this. They're called king snakes for the same reason why cobras have the king cobra. Usually a snake with the name king or with the word king in their name are called that because they eat other snakes. They're the king of the other snakes. So California kings are known to eat other snakes, including our venomous rattlesnakes. So a lot of homeowners, especially in rural areas, really love to see a California king on their property because that means that there's something out there naturally keeping down rattlesnake populations near their home. As we mentioned earlier that gopher snakes will buzz their tail, king snakes will also do that. When they're frightened or they're feeling threatened, they can vibrate really fast where it makes a little noise and it's very visually obvious to the predator as a sign to leave it alone. So California king snakes are part of the Lampropeltis genus, which includes all king snakes and milk snakes. Those are colubrids that are found only in the Americas. And fun fact, Lampropeltis means shining and little shield, as in the little scales on a snake. So as you can see, Indy's starting to buzz his tail a little bit. All of our ambassador animals have a point when they're done. His body language right now tells me that he's about done, so we're gonna go put him back. So this here is Cusco, and Cusco is an Andean milk snake. We talked about the California king snake having that beautiful black and white pattern, and this species has a really nice red and oranges and black coloration. So oftentimes these are confused as coral snakes. But the Andean milk snake, while it might look like a venomous snake, it's completely harmless. 
and they eat all kinds of things from other snakes to rodents to birds and then getting their name Andean because you can find them in the Andean mountain range. So colubrids are non-venomous constricting snakes and they're really a big group of different snakes. King snakes and milk snakes are a part of that colubrid family. And so they're different from boas and pythons uh, quite a bit. So they're thinner, they have different weight sizes, and evolutionarily they're quite different as well. So you might be looking at this snake and thinking, it doesn't look like milk. So kind of the origin of that name is in North America. Farmers would find these in barns and the logical conclusion is that this snake is drinking the cow's milk when really it's just out there looking for mice and rats to eat that are attracted to the farm animals in the barn. Hey, it's Morgan here. Thanks for hanging out with some of our scaly friends today. Did you happen to catch some of the exciting scientific words pop up during the video? Do you know what they mean? If not, don't worry, I'm here to help. Pitophuus is the genus or the scientific name for a group of species including gopher snakes and bull snakes. An ambassador animal is an animal used for teaching, like the snakes that we have here at the Snake Conservation Center. Cataracts are when an eye becomes cloudy, usually due to old age, and causes blurry vision or blindness. Lampropeltis is the genus or the scientific name for a group of species including king snakes and milk snakes. Colubrids are snakes in the family Colubridae. They include corn snakes, rat snakes, king snakes, and many other common species. Thanks for learning about colubrids with us today. If you liked this video, be sure to check out our other two snake family videos about pythons and boas.